Hello, I'm Phil Ernest, and I'm in Mount Baldy hiking the Devil's Backbone Trail. For today's hike, I will be hiking along this thin trail, otherwise known as the Devil's Backbone Trail. This trail leads to the highest summit in the San Gabriel Mountains, 10,064 feet. To find the trailhead in the city of Claremont on the 210 freeway, take exit 52 and drive north on Mount Baldy Road. From the time you exit the freeway until you reach the end of Mount Baldy Road, it should take you about 30 minutes to drive the 14 miles. When you come to the end of the road, continue on up the ramp to go to the parking lot. See the parking lot to the very far end over there? There is a fire road there if you want to walk up to the notch. However, for this particular hike, I will have you walk up the ramp, go to the ticket window, and buy your ticket to go up the ski lift. These are the current prices for a ski lift ticket as of July 2020. As you can see, it is cheaper to buy a round trip ticket than two one-way tickets. If you do choose to ride the ski lift, right behind the ticket booth is a few steps to go up to catch the ski lift. This is the starting point. The purpose of showing the ski lift is to help someone who isn't that serious of a hiker to be able to summit to Mount Baldy. Also, while Mount Baldy is not an easy hike, this is the easiest way to get to the summit by cutting off 1,500 feet of elevation and by cutting off 2.3 miles of your hike by taking the 20 minute ride to the notch. When you finally reach the notch, this is what you will see. The notch is where they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They also have a bar. Currently, during the pandemic, you are required to wear a mask if you do decide to enter. They also have outdoor dining. With the notch at your back, this is what you will see. Let's take a look at the trail map that I will be hiking. I will be on the Devil's Backbone Trail. It is 3.3 miles long with 2,350 feet of elevation gain. See to the far left, that's the trail I will be going up on. It isn't the best looking trail to start out with with a lot of rocks on it, but after hiking it for about 100 yards, things will get a lot better. After getting past that first rocky part of the trail, this is the second part. As you can see, things start to look a lot better. There is a fire road you could have taken to avoid this part, but no matter which part you take, this is where you will wind up at. As notice how I'm hardly even showing any effort going up Mount Baldy at this point. Keep in mind, since this hike is an up and back, you will be traveling from the notch to the summit back to the notch with a total distance of 6.6 miles. Notice how I'm hardly using any effort at this part of the hike. As I walk past a non-operating ski lift, I am now one mile into the hike from the notch with only 2.3 miles to go until I hit the summit. It's at this point of the hike where it becomes my favorite part of the hike. It is the Devil's Backbone where you get to see both sides of the mountain. The single track crosses the spine of a skinny ridge with steep drops to the north and south providing sweeping views and shaky knees for those with a fear of heights. You would not want to hike this way in the winter, but during the summer, under normal conditions, the trail is devilishly exciting. People do lose their lives in the wintertime hiking Mount Baldy along the ridge, so please do not become a casualty or a statistic and try to do this skinny ridge when snow is present. At this point of the hike, I'm halfway through the skinny ledge, looking back at what I've already hiked. Now looking forward at what I'm about to hike. Now that I've completed it, taking a look back at what I had just hiked. This is a quick look at the notch down below and where we started from. I'm now going to take quick little pans of each side of the mountain, showing you it is a long, long ways to the bottom if you slip and fall. If you are enjoying this content, 
please reach over and hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every week. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It will help the channel grow. As I said, I post a new video every week, and the video next week will be about Baldy from the Ski Hut Trail, which is from the other side of the mountain, and those views are spectacular as well. An important point worth mentioning at this time, when hiking high altitudes like Mount Baldy, it is very important to follow the basic hiking rules in order to avoid altitude sickness. Keep yourself hydrated with water, a few sips of water every now and then go much further than guzzling a whole bunch of water at one time. Also, don't rush up the mountain faster than you are conditioned to hiking. At this part of the hike, I will now approach hardwood and I will take this little trail to the right. If you want to continue going straight on that trail I was on, you're more than welcome to. Hardwood is about a half a mile added bonus that I will add to this hike and go up and see these weird little things that I have seen before in the past but never knew, really knew what they are. Stop, admire them, and continue on up. As you can see just above my head, that is the summit of Mount Baldy where I will soon be heading. This hardwood trail is the trail least traveled by hikers going to the summit. Usually, hikers that are coming up Register Ridge will take hardwood as an added extra bonus. But for the most part, this trail is lonely and empty, as you can see, not a soul around. And this is a great shot of the Baldy Bowl on how Mount Baldy got its name. Notice, not a single tree on this part of the face of the mountain. One of the neat things about Mount Baldy is it offers a Mount Baldy Run to the Top Trail Race. It's an annual Labor Day fundraiser. It's one of the most popular and challenging mountain trail races in California, held on this mountain running the Devil's Backbone Trail. They have been doing this run since 1965. Now comes the serious grind to the top, as I look back and take a look at hardwood where we were just at that very tip right there. But now, back to this part of the mountain as we take the final steps to the summit. At this point of the hike, we are now at 9,360 feet. The summit is at 10,064 feet, so about vertical 700 feet separate you from the top. That distance is, is covered in 0.7 miles of steep switchbacks. This is the steepest section of the trail, but push through it. The highest point in the San Gabriel Mountain waits for you at the top. As you climb, Mount San Gorgonio and Mount San Jacinto appear over your shoulder in the distance to the east and southeast. Notice the person standing to the far right of the screen? That's where the summit is and that's where I will soon be heading. At this point of the hike, just mere feet away from the top, the breeze starts to blow at all, at all directions towards me. This is the post that you will see when you get to the top of Mount Baldy. And now for the fun part of the hike, walking over to the sign. This sign shows from Devil's Backbone Trail from the Baldy Notch, we have traveled 3.25 miles. And the few final feet towards the sign that says San Antonio Mount Baldy, elevation 10,064 feet. This is a sign that people come to take a picture next to the first time when they've summited. Because of Mount Baldy's high altitude, it makes for a great training mountain for any hike that you plan to do locally or internationally for that matter. I've trained at this mountain for my past hikes to Mount Whitney, Machu Picchu in Peru, and Everest Base Camp in Nepal. There are two other mountains in the area that also have high altitude. They are San Gregorio and San Jacinto. Both of them are over 10,000 feet. As I start my descent down the mountain to the notch, that reminds me to tell you, at the summit, there are four trails leaving in different directions. So please make sure you are going down the correct trail. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself lost on the other side of the mountain. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see other hiking videos I have made in California, be sure to click on this link. 
Thank you so much for watching.